Hello, my name is Dustina Thomas and I'm the drama director at Glendale High School in Springfield, Missouri. This is my first year at Glendale High School as the drama teacher. We have roughly 600 seats in our auditorium. I would say we estimate between 550 to 600 seats. The facility has lots of opportunity. It has little hidey holes everywhere. It has um, a large seating space. We have a, a lovely large stage floor, lovely um, proscenium. It is very high. So we have the opportunity to do so much with it. We can do tall flats. We can do tall curtains and there's lots of opportunity to build upwards and outwards. We have a very wide proscenium and a, a pretty deep apron as well. We have lots of space down on the floor in front so if we wanted to place an orchestra there we can. If not I actually use that space a lot. The way the aisles are situated I have actors in the aisles non-stop. It makes it more immersive and I, I love that opportunity. There's lots of space for students to explore and use the space. There's lots of storage. We have lots of space to deal with. I enjoy that aspect of the auditorium. Some of the disadvantages of our space were that it had been in disrepair. It hadn't been well maintained. There were some holes in the floors. There were some technical things that were broken or not maintained that we've had to replace or fix. That comes from, you know, the past two years with COVID not being used, things just sitting. And also I learned this from being here this year. It's hard being a one man band. It's hard being one person taking care of all these different elements. And when you also have every single group in the school uses the auditorium at one point. You also have music and you have, so you have choir and you have band, orchestra, you have all the speakers, all the clubs, all of the district trainings, everything that happens in the auditorium. And not all of them know how to take care of a microphone or how to turn the lights on properly. So things get misused. And if you're not right there in the space to say, hey, no, this is how you do it, then I can see how things can get abused. Our classroom is set up like a small theater. What I have heard from different alums of Glendale from the 80s and 90s, this used to be their original theater space. It seats about 100, maybe a little bit more, but we have a full small proscenium stage and then we have a, a space on the floor and I get to use this space for class which is awesome because we can do performances we can do warm-ups we don't have to move to the auditorium to have space to stretch out the one negative thing is that I also don't have tables so if we are doing table work or paperwork then it the students don't have a place to, I can't put them it's harder to put them in groups to work usually I put them on the floor or we set up tables on the little stage but we do have this little space we needed it for a smaller more intimate show this year we started out with Suzical. I selected that show. I had no idea when I, when I started here what type of talent I would find or what students I would have and what the students liked. So I picked a show that I was actually supposed to direct the summer of 2020 um, and it got canceled. I was already familiar with the show and ready to do that show. Also, it's a show that you can find someone to fit every role. You can find something, there's something fun for everybody. So, and I love the bright costumes and the movement and it tells a good story. So we did that show first. And then we did, for one act, we did a show called The Yellow Boat, which is a, a stark contrast to Susical. And then for Reader's Theater, we did Eurydice by Sarah Rule. And then for our spring play, we did Charlotte's Web. We have announced our shows for next year. Our fall musical will be Little Mermaid. And then our spring show will be Puffs. Then our one act will be Peter and Wendy.